Have you ever seen the bookcase scene in Interstellar? That was a Tesseract. So is this mysterious cube in the Avengers, a Tesseract. Also known as a four-dimensional hypercube is to a cube as a cube is to a square. Yes, I know that is a lot to take in, but finally, the time has come that the tech Tesseracts now own a real live Tesseract for themselves. In fact, we actually have the three of them currently in our possession. And a big thanks to Hyperspace Lighting for sending these out. They are absolutely amazing and they are so cool to look at. It's probably one of my most favorite lights that I have ever owned in my house, in my setup, in my life. That is how cool these lights are. And if you wanna pick one up for yourself, you can find the link down below in the description. And you can also use our code Tech Tesseract, how fitting, for 10% off of your order with free shipping. With that being said, let's check out the cubes. So there's currently three options available, the Hypercube 10 and the 10 referring to the length of the cube in inches. This would be great for putting on a large desk or a coffee table. Now the other one is the Hypercube 15, which is this absolute a mammoth of a piece right here. And most recently, the Hypercube at Nano. Now the first two you can buy right now on the website and they'll ship instantly. Meanwhile, the Nano is still in the final production stages, although you can pre-order it via Indiegogo with estimated shipping around December of this year. We've actually been following hyperspace lighting for about the past three years back from when they were in their initial crowdfunding stage. So it's been pretty cool to see them take it from an idea to a fully fledged business with a whole lot of product line. In the box, you'll get a quick start manual to help you get everything as set up. The LED controller, which is this little black box with a silver button on it. And inside of this smaller box, you'll find the power brick. And finally, underneath another layer of foam, the cube. Now, one thing I was genuinely impressed with when I opened up everything was the quality. You can tell a lot of care has been put into both the quality control and production of these components. I've seen a shoddy assembly infinity mirrors before, and it's not pretty when you can see a bunch of excess glue and LED strips that have just been wrapped around corners and it just doesn't look good. If you look closely, you can see that each LED strip has been cut and soldered very carefully around each vertice of the cube. And that combined with the solid outer frame and high quality materials makes for a very polished final product. The stand you see right here is sold separately. It's actually compatible with both the Hypercube 10 and 15, but it looks super sleek with its hexagon design and chrome accents and serves as a perfect way to display the Hypercube. Now, as soon as you plug in the cube and turn it on, on, it will come to life and initiate the boot up sequence. This is when you'll first see just how crazy the infinity mirror effect is. It's quite different from the regular infinity mirrors that you might have seen, which usually have to be viewed from a certain direction to get the full effect. Since this is in the form of a cube, you can literally look at it from any direction and just see the lights go on for infinity, which is what makes it so great to display as a centerpiece or on a desk or on a coffee table or in your setup like we are going to do for ours. It's definitely a conversational starter. Now it does have a default light sequence where it cycles through a bunch of different patterns and colors. So if you wanna just use it as is, you can do that. However, you will be missing out on quite a lot of extra features that are unlocked when you download the Hyperspace Lighting app. This allows you to either connect the cube to your Wi-Fi network or alternatively connect temporarily to the cube's Wi-Fi, after which you will have access to a bunch of different ways to control the cube's lighting. Now, I'm not gonna go over every single setting, but I will give you a quick overview of what you can do with it. Control-wise, you can turn it on and off remotely. It has a timer where it can turn off automatically after 60 minutes. There's no Alexa compatibility built into the cube itself, but it will remember the last setting it was on, so you can easily hook it up to a smart plug to enable basic on and off voice control. Here's a quick look at some of the presets. And by the way, they are not just generic LED effects. They've all been custom made and housed by hyperspace lighting specifically for the cube to maximize the overall effect. Each preset supports the ability to change the color, speed, and intensity of the effect. So there's definitely room to customize everything to your liking. I usually like to slow things down for a more subtle effect. Another really cool feature is the music reactive mode. You can actually sync up multiple cubes with the same effect for an epic light show. I feel like that would be really cool at a rave or something, but here's what it looks like. Now let's talk about price. So like a lot of other products on the market in the LED art category, they're not cheap. 
However, I do not think that means that it is bad value. It's just one of the things that you have to ask yourself do you like it and do you like it enough to buy it? In fact, I actually think the asking price is very reasonable for the level of polish that you get with this product. Not to mention they do have a selection of different sizes available for different budgets. The six inch nano mono being affordable and in fact, probably the most suited to the average person and just looking to pick up something really cool to add to their desk setup. Now, like I said previously in the video, you can find all the links down below in the description. And remember you can get 10% off and free shipping using our code tech tesseract. What do you guys think of the cube? Let us know with a comment down below. Josh and I absolutely love it. I think it's so fitting for our channel to finally have a tesseract of its own and it will permanently be in the space bar, whether it's going to be over here or over in the cabinet behind me. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we will catch you in the next one.